Welcome everybody. What I'm going to focus today on is just the installation procedure for the KV Porter. So what we have here is a very basic fresh install of uh, Sugar CRM. It's version 657. It's the community edition. The only thing I installed is a little bit of a theme. So it looks nicer by the sides that nothing is happening. So everything is empty. What I'm going to do is uh, go to the module loader to start installing the key reporter. So the first thing you want to install is in the list of packages is the base package. So we upload that. And simple install. So I need to get in. Up there. Base package uh, usage and license agreement and checked. The GPL license, uh, what it does, it gives you a couple of libraries, basically the core libraries for the JavaScript framework, for a couple of other things which are shared libraries. Um, this is what we need. It's not the application itself, but more or less the foundation it builds on. So if it is not installed, then that makes us some problems. So during the installation process, there's something to copy that. Uh, the biggest piece in there is the essential for one framework. So I find all those and uh, custom K and then various things where these things are copied to. There is not much happening. We're waiting. It's uh, back to the module loader. It has loaded. But nothing has happened so far. So if you look at the module, still nothing there. The next thing you want to do, and that changed now with the release there of the report. There is no premium or whatever edition, no basic edition. So we move that to a core package. So the next thing you want to do is install the KV for the core package. We upload and also install. So also the core package now falls under, so always for us the GPL license, so it's public, and it goes faster. So this thing transform data back to module loader. It's found to work. And now if you look at it, the reports already appeared. We have our reports, basically it's empty. So what we can do now is start creating a report. The basic edition is already there, so it's okay. Let's start with a basic opportunity report. Uh, reports, so it looks nice. So opportunities module, there's a lot of things you might know. Take the sales stage, and I got the amount, it's already nice and easy. Let's take this amount, so we click on sales stage, nothing else sharing, and then basically do the sum of the amount. Uh, the other things you see with the base package, it's very limited, so still Presentation is just a plugin visualization, and that's new. So there's some basic visualization already available in the core package. So if I say, okay, I do a chart, I can do limited Google charts, only one domain dimension, but that's for free. So you can at least visualize something. So if I say, I want to have a column chart, show by sales stage the amount. Integration, also that at this point is limited and I can export to CSV. We have the basic ties, this export, which I can activate. If I save that, now with a couple of clicks, I installed the core package of the reporter and already created my first report. So, to make it fancy, so this is the course that you have to do and you can start the reporting of the CSV I export should be already, so it's fine. Um, the other thing we can do, of course, and I want to do is also load now the full enchilada. Uh, 
let's take this module loader. That part of the package is no longer so free. So these are basically commercial available extensions. I upload those, this gives me all the further extensions, makes the record looks nicer. Install that one as well. The other thing we can see, it's no longer a GPL, so that's a commercial license now. If you want that, contact us at infoitcreativecoder.org. Not long. Um, the great pricing and basically access, this will also not be published on SugarForge. These are non-public and non-GPL extensions. Again, part of the update is uh, installing some further libraries, also charting libraries, etc. And then also installing the various um, additional plugins we have. While well, we wait, the thing is loading, I'm taking it this thing and installing. It takes some time, back to module loader. So this shall we have been loaded, should be fine. Wonderful, let me now just edit our opportunity report. So now we have a little bit more available. So if you go to the presentation view, so now we have some more views available. What we want to do is just say, okay, we take also the assigned users. So we make our report a little bit nicer. Take the username. different view, which is now available, so we take the group view, we do the default grouping by the sales stage, and on the amount we add the function of the sum, and then visualization, you suddenly see that first of all Google Charts opens up a little bit more, and the other thing, if we change and say, okay, add a little bit more, first of all, on this one, we can Suddenly, the things like change the color scheme, and then <laughs> what it's about. The second thing you want to take now, you have Fusion Chart, yes, the Google Maps available. You want to do a Fusion Chart. You want to take a donut, two dimensional. You want to do it by username, and then show the amount. Fine, and integration. We have also some more. We can show you the slides port. So, on the query analyzer, we can schedule the reports. We can publish them now. That's the other fun thing. All the nice things we do. There's an extension in the target list plugin. Suddenly, we can um, assign standard actions and standard target lists. So, save that. Now, report runs again. Looks fancier. It's all the additional options we are having. Let's see if the result is predicted. Nice. Over on the one end, we have a group view now. We have built the sum. We still have the first chart we had. All these different colors are our own. And then on top of that, the second chart in the visualization area is our wonderful uh, donut here, which we are having. Okay, so much for installation, so keep in mind, install the base package, install the code package, and then if you want, install the add-on package for all the extensions.